Hello everyone, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. And today we're doing a comparative analysis between these two types of battery. All right, and here, this is your lithium ion phosphate battery. And of course, this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> your good old flooded lead acid battery the tubular batteries okay so let's find out what the differences are between these two types of battery so today we'll find out the differences between these two types of batteries but of course I'm assuming you already know what the function of a battery is a battery is an energy storage device all right so you store energy here to be used at a later date you can choose to store energy here from your solar that's from the solar panel that's the sun energy all right or you can choose to store energy here from your on grid or what we all can understand here as nepa all right so once you store that energy here this battery will hold the energy for you to use at a later time so that's the function of a battery but the battery has different types you have agm battery you have a gel battery you have a flooded lead acid battery which is a tubular battery and you also have a lithium ion phosphate battery they all have different chemical compositions so but if this is your first time on this channel and you haven't subscribed why not now will be a good time for you to click on that button so that we can notify you when we have fresh videos coming out thank you very much for dropping by so let's look at budget um one of these batteries is more expensive than the other so um in budget consideration that could be a major factor whether you want to get this battery for your installation or not now the lithium ion phosphate battery is more expensive than your tubular battery all right and in most cases it's like double the amount that you would buy a tubular battery a lithium phosphate battery is more expensive all right so for most installers or for most homeowners it's a very huge consideration so, so most times your budget will determine uh, whether you're gonna get a lithium ion phosphate battery or you will go with a tubular battery so budget is a major factor as a lithium ion phosphate battery is more expensive so the lithium ion phosphate battery is a 100 percent maintenance free battery all right so you don't have to top up distilled water you don't have to clean up uh, the nukes that form in the battery terminals and all of that so it doesn't require any form of maintenance so the lithium phosphate ion battery is 100 percent maintenance free whilst the tubular battery would require you to after maybe two months three months depending on the usage of the cycles for you to top up distilled water in here because while you're charging the battery the distilled water is going to be going down let's look at lifespan um a lithium ion phosphate battery most definitely has um, a longer lifespan than uh, a tubular battery so in most cases you're going to get at least a minimum of 10,000 cycles out of these batteries or even more 12,000 cycles and on and on uh, but for the tubular batteries the max you can get out from a tubular battery um, or lead acid battery in most cases is um, 4,000 cycles lithium ion phosphate battery lasts a lot longer that might be some consideration for you to look into the lithium ion phosphate battery is more environmentally friendly so it doesn't emit any form of gas into the environment or some form of hydrogen uh, while it's on but a tubular um, battery when it's being charged most especially when it gets to the absorption stage or when you're equalizing the batteries it tends to emit a lot of gas into the air so it's advised that you keep these batteries uh, where you have a lot of ventilation or if you have space on the outside, it's advisable for you to keep a tubular battery outside. Now, uh, these two types of batteries are made with different chemical compositions, all right? Um, like the name's sound, this is a lead acid battery, all right? So this is produced with lead while the lithium ion phosphate battery is produced uh, with lithium all right so they have different chemical compositions so they definitely kind of react differently to uh, charges from whichever power source that you choose all right all right so let's look at 
which of these batteries that you will charge a lot faster a lithium ion phosphate battery charges a lot faster than your tubular battery you're going to need a lot of energy to be able to charge your tubular batteries or your flooded lead acid battery all right while um, a little energy is required to charge the lithium ion phosphate battery so whilst the flooded lead acid will go the full battery cycle charge uh, from bulk charge to absorption then to floating and periodically um, equalization but the lithium ion phosphate battery does not need to pass through all the cycles of the battery charge uh, it only needs to charge to a set voltage and it reverts back to the flow charging let's look at dod which is your depth of discharge so we're trying to find out how much energy can you drain out of these two batteries so the flooded lead acid battery which is your tubular battery uh, you only have 50 percent energy available for you to drain out of this battery so if this battery is fully charged you can only drain 50 percent of this battery out so the depth of discharge of this battery it shouldn't in most cases go beyond 50 percent so that's a threshold you shouldn't uh, once you're beginning to go beyond 50 percent to 60 percent you are harming the cells of the battery but lithium ion phosphate battery has an availability of 95% depth of discharge so you can drain 95% of um, the energy stored in this battery from the lithium ion phosphate battery. battery so that gives you more energy backup all right so you have more backup time on your lithium ion phosphate battery so let's look at efficiency um, when you're doing a solar installation and you're thinking about your configurations you're thinking about how much value you've invested and how much value you will want to get out of the entire system in terms of um, having your place powered up um, efficiency is always top in your minds and you're thinking about how efficient is my solar panel how efficient is going to be my inverter so efficiency is very key and lithium ion phosphate battery is more efficient in terms of delivering on energy than your flooded lead acid battery all right so because you can get uh, more energy drained out of the battery because the depth of discharge is a lot more and because it has more backup time that essentially translates to the fact that it's more efficient than your tubular um, batteries all right so this gives you more power and this is most definitely more efficient so let's look at space so space is a major factor to consider uh, when you're about to do an installation do you have the space to be able to store up uh, the batteries and to be able to stop your inverters and your charge controllers so how much of space do you have um, if you're choosing a tubular battery you must have a lot of space to uh, stack up all of these batteries because a tubular battery takes more space while the lithium ion phosphate battery uh, takes a little space uh, for you to be able to generate so much energy or for you to be able to uh, store a lot of energy so the lithium ion phosphate battery takes a very little space as compared to the amount of space a tubular battery would take and in terms of weight Um, a tubular battery is way heavier so if you compare uh, the amount of energy because the lithium ion phosphate battery by default in most cases comes as a 48 unit system and it comes fully installed with a battery management system so this is actually a 48 volt system and this is a 6 volt 550 amps battery so for you to get this same size of kilowatt in this type of battery of course you need a lot of space and it's very heavy so in terms of ease of moving around in terms of um, convenience the lithium ion phosphate battery is a lot better than a tubular battery that's all we can take for today guys thank you so very much my name is Tilly Kinna from Smiling Sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green thank you so much guys for being part of this and see you in the next video